Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're excited to be testing a mask that was sent to us. These are the Ato Fresh Type L KF94. Our viewers said that these were purchased from G Market, but unfortunately these are out of stock, so we're not going to be looking at the listing today. As I mentioned, these are KF94s, which is a Korean standard, but these are not a trifold style as we typically see with KF94s. These are more of a bifold style. So let's go ahead and take a look at these mats. So these are actually very thin, but don't let that fool you because typically KF94 tests between 98 and 99% filtration efficiency, and they may not have the best construction feeling at first glance, but we're gonna see how these test on our TSI machine. So let's just give them a quick tug. You can kind of see here that when I tugged it, it's coming undone a little bit. So not the strongest ear loops. Let's go ahead and try these on just so we can kind of get a quick reference on how they fit on a petite face. I'm guessing the type L is referencing to a size large because these are very large <laughs> compared to my face. These are a very wide mat. Oh. <laughs> these are a very wide mask, but I feel like lengthwise they are a little sh on the shorter side. So here's one last glance on how they fit on my face. Super big, but like I said, these are a larger size mask. So with that being said, we're gonna see how these test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration percentage of 99.83 and a pressure drop of 11.6 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.69 and a pressure drop of 12.3 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw, these KF94s passed the filtration efficiency with a 99.69% and breathability wise, they tested at 12.3 millimeters of water. As I mentioned, KF94s are known to be extremely breathable and most of the ones that we've tested have had results of 10 millimeters of water or under. So these are a bit higher than what we've tested, but they're still within the KF94 requirements. So with that being said, if you do have a larger frame phase, these could be a great fit for you. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you would like to send in any mask or respirator for us to test, we're gonna be having our address in the description box below along with our website, which is acumet.com and our message testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.